Hey guys, Kirsten here, Redwater Dodge, home of the $10 oil change, Rigorty Rams, and now we buy your Ram. Behind me, there's one of our newest Jeeps. This is a 2022 Grand Cherokee L, so let's take a peek. At the front of the Jeep, you have your color matching bumpers with your built-in park sensors. This one has a little bit of chrome accents all throughout the front of the Jeep. You have your LED headlights as well as your LED fog lights. Uh, underneath the hood, you have the 3.6 liter V6 engine, and then this one also comes with the front camera there as well side of the jeep you have your 20 inch chrome rims that match all of your chrome accents along the side here this one has your blacked out mirrors that have blind spot monitoring and they're also heated you have your color matching door handles with your proximity entry so you have the three lines here showing you where to touch to lock and unlock the jeep uh, this one has the proximity entry actually on all four doors not just the front anymore but we'll check out the back of the jeep here you have your park sensors built right into the back uh, you have all of your chrome accents here you have your built-in backup camera here as well as a camera up here for your digital rear view mirror that i'll show you opening the hatch it is the power lift gate this is the new third row suv so you have the third row seats here if you don't want the third row seats it's just pull on this lever and push them forward with the seats down, you have tons of space back here. Uh, you have all of your plugins back here as well. So you have a 12 volt plug in back here. And then lifting up the floor, you have a little storage compartment. And then if you just move this out of the way, if you unclip this, you have your spare tire jack as well as your funnel for your gas tank. Um, so if you do have to fill the vehicle with a jerry can, uh, you do have to use the funnel. So that is included there as well, but we'll check out the inside. Of this Jeep, you have the really nice leather heated and cooled seats as well as the heated steering wheel. You have tons of space in your center console here. So it is a two-stage center console with tons of space down in the second part. And then you have your glove box, which is really nice and big. Moving over to the center here, you have a 10-inch touchscreen in this vehicle. Uh, really nice and big. You can do everything on it. So you can control your heated seats, heated steering wheel, cooled seats. Uh, you can control all of your climate control. Uh, you can do all of that from here as well. This is the new Uconnect 5 system. And then you also have your navigation. Give it a sec here. Have all of your nav. Uh, you can access your backup camera from vehicle. Uh, you can uh, fold your third row headrest. Uh, you can look at the family camera so you can see everything that's going on uh, with all of your kids in the back. And then you also have the forward facing camera at the front there that I told you about. Uh, all of your buttons down here, so if you don't like the touch screen at night, you can just turn it off and then it simply just touch it to wake it up. You have all of your volume controls and your stereo controls here. Uh, then you have all of your climate controls and your fan and everything right here. You do also have buttons for your heated seat, your cooled seat and your heated steering wheel as well. Um, and then you have tons of space in this little cubby here. Uh, you also have a wireless phone charger down here, and then you have four different USB ports, an auxiliary port, and a 12 volt plug-in down here as well. Your gear shift is now a dial right here, and then uh, your select track system for your four wheel drive and everything is all on a switch here. You have your cup holders right here, and then on your steering wheel, you have all of your cruise control settings on the right hand side, including your adaptive cruise control. All of your Bluetooth settings are on the left. And then this vehicle also has the paddle shift option on the back. And then all of your audio controls are on the back as well. Uh, over on the door, you have your two stage um, memory driver seat. You have power adjustable paddles, your electronic uh, emergency brake. And then if you look up in the vehicle, you also have, there you go, um, the full panoramic sunroof. So you have the power sunshade there. Oh, I opened the sunroof, not the sunshade. Whoops. Um, but you have the sunroof and then the sunshade also opens up uh, to the second stage as well. We're just going to close that. And then you can also open your, um, your lift gate from the inside here as well. And then you have the digital rear view mirror as well. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Um, but if you don't like the digital rear view mirror, you can just flip this switch and it becomes a uh, regular one. And then you can adjust a whole bunch of things um, like brightness and where the camera is actually pointed um, with that. But we'll check out the back seat.
Inside of the Jeep here, you have really nice leather heated seats in the back. So all of your heated seat controls are just up at the front. You also have separate climate control from the front to the back. So you can control all of that right here. Uh, you have four different USBs down here, as well as a 115 volt plug-in and your cup holders. So you do have the captain seats in this one with their armrests. Um, so you can just go through the middle there to get to the back. But if you do want um, to move the seat, it's just this lever here. They slide forward and then tilt forward as well, giving you lots of space. These seats also adjust forward and back depending on where you're wanting more leg room in the front or in the back. And then this lever here just folds them nice and flat, giving you tons of space back here. If you're interested in this vehicle and want to see 30 plus pictures and pricing, click the link below or give us a call 780-942-3629.